Uh, hi guys, this video has been a long time coming and so I figured I might as well do it now. Um, what you're seeing running in the background is Armored Warfare and this video is the rise and fall of Armored Warfare. Now in this video I will not be kind I will not mince my words. I will flat out just say where this game went wrong. It went wrong pretty goddamn fast when Obsidian stopped working on the game. Um, if you don't know, Obsidian has now pulled out completely from uh, Armored Warfare, uh, which is why I don't understand why their logo is at the beginning of the game. Seems how because my.com, the now owners and runners of Armored Warfare, have taken over all facets and departments, um, which is why the game has not been updated since the 8th of May, I believe. Um, I want to say the 8th of May. Um, We'll wait for this lengthy load time to hurry up. And bear in mind, this is on an M.2 drive. And it does take this long to load. Uh, I also want to apologize about the background um, audio. I uh, do live near a special needs school. And so they're out playing. It's a nice day today. So I know I can't exactly get out the window and tell them to shut the hell up. Uh, Okay, ooh, yay, 100k credits, like that's going to do me any good. Uh, let's check on the, the Armored Warfare news. Uh, when was the last update? Now this will list when the last update was. Uh, come on, any day now. There you go, 8th of May 2021 was the last update. So, yeah. Zero communication from the devs, zero communication from basically anyone at, at my or Obsidian or whatnot. I know Obsidian have released, they, they've literally let go a whole bunch of their workers and have found jobs, luckily, knock on wood, good for them, with other developers. Um, however, Armored Warfare, as far as I'm concerned, is dead. Why? Because everything is behind a very large grind wall again. Um, as you guys know, I have been playing the game since 2018, um, and I did participate in the betas and whatnot, and even when they said after this beta there'll be no more wipes, we all were like, yay! And so we started devoting resources and even actual in-game uh, money and, and, and whatnot to the game, and then they still went ahead and wiped the accounts. Yeah, not a happy chap. As you guys know, uh, I went all the way and got myself the Challenger 1, Challenger 2s. Um, I didn't have the El Hassan because that wasn't there at the time. It was just straight Challenger 2. Um, Challenger 1 went straight into Challenger 2, which went straight into Challenger 2 Advanced uh, Armor Recon blah 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 package. Um, so, what do I mean by the, by the games dying? Um, quite literally, the game has become a huge grind fest. Um, on average, most players won't make it out of tier three into tier four, um, and I'm not even joking. Um, as you can see, it, the cost increase is just—it's it, it, staggering. How can you go from nine hundred and sixty thousand to four million? I—I I, I just don't get it um the economy is in the toilet quite literally in the toilet and has been flushed away um they tried to tweak it they tried to change it they tried to do some things to you know offset the game um but they removed artillery from pvp and made it a pve only vehicle so uh, let's see your Godishka. Yeah, so let's see your M108, your M109, your Palmyra, your Abbots, your 
punch your boots, your freaking PLZ 05s. Yeah, pretty much anything artillery it is now PVE only. It's it's no longer PVP. That was their idea to balance artillery, was to flat out just remove it from the PVP match. No. They added a French tech tree. As you guys know, I don't do French. Don't like the French. Um, just I just don't like it. I just don't like French tanks. I'm just not a huge fan of French. But anything. Um, the fact that I remember the M113 being a tier 5 tank. It's now a tier 3. But it still plays like it's tier 5. Which means it, it, it has a ridiculous amount of DPM. Um, and with the right commander, it's just ridiculously deadly. Uh, and that's another thing. Commanders... They nerfed all the commanders. They stripped them of their specialty skills. For example, uh, Leones here, he had a specialty skill about... Uh, in order to unlock him, you had to set 10 tanks on fire and they had to be destroyed by fire damage uh, in order to unlock him. And he had a thing about where um, he, he, set, he, he set tanks on fire more easily. Um, he was a bit of a pyromaniac. Uh, Freja, she was like the bee's knees and the dog's bollocks um, during the beta but they knocked her, her into the dirt and they've given you this whole pick a tech tree uh, spread system um, this is an absolute fucking joke uh, I'm sorry like why is it when, when my character gets a rank up she's not going to get a skill you pick no skill for example no skill no skill no skill so I'm blocked so either way, somewhere down the line, I'm going to get no skill when I level her up. That just makes no sense. Um, and of course, you can still buy commanders with gold. You can always uh, um, score boost with gold. And you can also get your um, insignias, which gives you more gold. Again, it's just more ridiculous reasons. And don't forget, you can also get your premium time. Don't forget, you can buy your premium time, guys. Buy your premium time. And then you can also get your, your your booster slots, you know. Don't forget your boosters. You gotta get your boosters on. Don't forget your boosters, you know. And the most I've ever made with all of that on at the same time was about two hundred and fifty k. Nine hundred and sixty thousand to four million. That's a big fucking jump. I'm sorry, but it is. Like I said, the economy's in the toilet. Now let's look at the matchmaker, shall we? Let's pick... Let, let, let's act as if I'm, you know, just new to the game. You know, brand spanking new. So we're going to grab our, our little... Walker Bulldog. Which, by the way, is a tier 9... Tier 8, tier 9 tank in World of Tanks. Here it's a tier one, so go figure figure. And these little mini missions are an absolute joke because they're all about PvP. When uh, PVE, tireless support, help allies deal 5, uh, 5k damage in each of 10 matches. So basically all I've got to do is just endlessly track enemy tanks and let my friendlies do all the damage. While the other mission is hit a tank... 10 times and do damage. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to track them or do damage? E e e even your... See, see what I'm saying? I'm the only tier 1 here. Everyone's tier 3. Okay? So I'm definitely in a tier 3 match. And that's fine. I don't mind punching up. I really don't. So we're going to definitely be uh, punching above our weight here, guys. Definitely punching above our weight. No bonus, no bonus, no bonus, no bonus, no bonus. What's new? Um, I'm actually going to swap out to... High Explosive. Alright, so... 60 cat frame because the uh, the frame rate's locked. Even though I've I've set my settings to f 
frame rate. So I can't set the frame rate higher than 60 without having to restart the game. Okay, that makes no sense, but sure. The some of the map oh, just this game it's just uh, you see what I'm talking about you get tankers that are just Daka 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 got a kill 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 And our M113 is about to have a really fun time because the enemy is going to be coming from that direction uh, It's just I genuinely I genuinely feel that the game has become more, of course I missed my shot, any day now Gunner, any day now Loader. Any day now, loader.
and that's my whole point. You know, if you want to make a Water Tanks clone, make a Water Tanks clone. If you want to make your own game stand out and be unique, make your game stand out and be unique. But you can't even do that. You literally have decided to just clone everything Water Tanks and add a modern tank spin to it. That's that's pretty much all you've done. Now you'll see what I'm talking about when it comes to skill perks. Okay, so we hit promote to promote him. And now I can choose reload speed increased by 0.6. Uh, what's that one? Uh, crew stat penalty when injured driver is reduced. Spotting range increased by 5 meters. Uh, which would then lead into perception. Which would then lead into the shadows. Eagle eye. Eagle eye, bloodlust. Silence of two. Napalm, increase fire duration. See, he does have his fire duration stuff, but look how far down I would have to go. You know, it... it He was a good tanker. He was a damn good commander. Okay, so this driver is going to get... Off-road driving. This... Gunner is going to get... Of course, you're gonna have to get uh, rapid fire, and so yeah, you, you saw one of the issues um, let, let's go up a tier shall we uh, I showed you tier ones I've pretty much got everything up to tier six Again, tier 4 and up can only do hardcore, so you're slow grinding no matter what. And, yeah, it's just, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. The, the economy is in the toilet. The player base is pretty much non-existent. Um, you cannot get into, like, tier 6, 7, 8, 9s without waiting, you know, two to eight minutes for a game because the player base for pvp or pve is just that lacking and it's sad 
It genuinely is sad. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. And it's one of the reasons why I was... I'm saying that this game is... This game will be dead in the next six months. Even with... Even with people being stuck at home thanks to COVID. You still don't have the player base. the difference between a very lacking tank commander and a tank commander that knows us stuff. I have no idea why our artillery has decided to go tank destroyer mode. a snapshot You thought you was going to be an easy kill on me, huh? <laughs> Clearly, you do not know. Ow. No effect on a... 41 Walker Bulldog. Are you having a laugh? Come on. That's the difference. If you've got a good enough tank commander that knows what the hell they're doing, you can just go through them like butter.
See? 18k. Still just... It's ridiculous. But, you know, that's just it. And yes, I do have gold tank. I do have premium tanks. I've got the Type 59 2A and the IT-1. Now, the IT-1 you got from a uh, Humble Bundle deal that they ended up reneging on and Oblivion uh, was pissed at the company and demanded that they actually give everyone their uh, IT-1s. And so we we finally got our IT, IT-1s, but under a lot of controversy. Uh, the Type 59 2A was given as a reward tank to players who um, was playing for more than a year. Um, but that's it. There's been no other reward tanks given out. So, yeah, go figure. Um, so, lack of communication from the devs. Lack of uh, uh, streamers. I The only people I see stream this, this game are people who are at my, who, who are part of the, the, the uh, development team. And even then, I saw he only pulled, I think it was like 13, 14 viewers. The, let me get this clear to you. The developer only pulled 14 viewers. That is why I'm saying to you, the game is going to die. Anyway, guys, thank you for sticking around. My name is Deceptive. Uh, if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. If, you, if you're not, leave a comment and uh, give a video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. Either way. Much love. Keep just fine. Keep the enemies die. Cobra Commanders out. I'm going to see you 61s in the next one.